guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the next uh, square in our Bake Shop series blanket and it is the strawberry granny square. So let's go ahead and get started. For this square you're going to need to make a large size heart and I will have the link in the description below or you can click on the video right here for the basic heart uh, crochet heart video and you'll just need to make the large size in a baby pink. So after you've done that we're going to be working with a dark green yarn and an H 5 millimeter hook and you're going to need to you're going to need to chain seven and then insert your hook in the fourth stitch from the hook and crochet one double crochet and then working in the next stitch to go ahead and work one more double crochet and then a half double crochet in the next stitch. We should be in the next to last chain here, so that's a half double crochet. And then just go ahead and slip stitch in the last one. So this is the first leaf. We're gonna do three little leaves here. So don't finish off, just go ahead and chain eight to work on the second leaf. We're going to be sewing these little leaves onto our heart to make the strawberry. So after we've chained eight, you're going to insert your hook in the fourth stitch from the hook once again and make one double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there is one and then one double crochet in the next stitch as well. And now we should be working in the next to last stitch and go ahead and work one half double crochet and then slip stitch in the first of those eight chains. Now don't finish off and go ahead and start the third leaf and chain seven. And after we've chained seven, we're gonna do exactly the same thing that we did for the first leaf. We're going to insert your hook in the fourth stitch from the hook and make one double crochet in that fourth stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch which should, our, should be our next to last chain of that chain seven and then just go ahead and slip stitch in the first chain your last stitch there so there are all three leaves completed so now you're just going to slip stitch into the top of your largest leaf the second leaf and then we're just going to chain five we're going to create the little stem so after we've chained five just go ahead and slip stitch in the first stitch from your hook and in each stitch down. So you should have four slip stitches. There's three and four. And then after we've slip stitched all the way back down that chain five, you're just going to slip stitch in the top of the first leaf to kind of anchor that stem there. And now we just need to finish off this green yarn, leaving a pretty long tail because we need to sew this onto our pink large size heart that we made previously. So go ahead and thread your tapestry needle and we can sew this onto our large pink heart. Just make sure to sew around the edges. I didn't sew the stem down itself. I wanted that to be kind of above the top of the heart, but I just sewed around the edges of all three leaves to make sure that they're nice and anchored down. Definitely don't just place a stitch kind of in the center of each leaf or they'll start to lift really quickly and it won't really last over time. So make sure to take the time and go ahead and stitch around the outsides of each of the leaves. And if you wanted to do um, some stitches on the stem itself later on, we have an opportunity to do that, but don't worry about stitching the stem anywhere at this point. So you can go ahead and weave in your ends there. And now you need to use a white color yarn. I'm just going to snip um, a spare piece probably about maybe two, two and a half feet long. I always um, snip more than I need to be sure that I have plenty. What I'm going to do here is make a knot in one end and then I'm going to thread my tapestry needle and I'm just going to embroider some French knots with this yarn on the bottom portion of the strawberry to look like seeds. So the way that you do that is just come up from the back and then you want to wrap the yarn twice around the point of your needle and then reinsert the needle right next to where you came up from and then pull it taut. 
So I'm just going to continue doing some French knots. There's no real rhyme or reason to where I'm placing these here. It's just kind of random. You can do as many or as few as you prefer. Or you can completely skip this step if you uh, don't want to add it. You could also do buttons or beads or anything like that. In place of the French knots, I just like working with all yarn. Um, and it tends to make it a little bit more durable over time as well. And you can go ahead and weave in those ends. And now working with the white yarn again, I'm going to stitch the granny square stitches. So I'm inserting my hook in the top right corner. And then I'm going to chain two and start our corner cluster. I'm going to be following exactly the same process that I have with all of the Bake Shop blanket squares. So if you are confused on any of this or if you haven't made any of the Bake Shop blanket squares yet and you have no idea what I'm doing, go back to the traditional granny square video and I will walk you through exactly how to do all of the corner clusters and side clusters that you need to know in order to make the traditional granny square and it'll also go over how to stitch these onto um, any of the motif squares. So I'm just working down the side. I'm only skipping three stitches in between and only working in the outside of the heart. I'm not really stitching into the leaf portion of this motif at all. It just seems to be a bit sturdier and more even. The leaf portion seems to throw it off a bit and it's not as even as far as the number of stitches. So make sure that you're stitching into the perimeter of the heart itself. And you should be skipping about three stitches in between each. So here we are finishing the first round and you want to go ahead and stitch three rounds of granny square stitches and then you are all done with this strawberry square. I hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. You are all done with your strawberry and make sure to check back next Friday evening for the next Big Shop Blanket Square. Mm -hmm.